a 54-hour weekend-long game-making event that brings together students from art, from the sciences, from computer science, from biology, in a, uh, in a, in a game-making, interdisciplinary, collaborative event. Game Jam is a way for people to work together on a common design challenge, uh, regardless of the discipline that they come from. It's 54 hours long. It takes place over the course of a weekend from Friday afternoon to Sunday afternoon. Game Jam started about a year and a half ago at this point, and uh, since then we've come a long way. When we first started Game Jam, nobody really knew what it was and what it would entail. And so most of the participants came from the art department and we had a lot of mentors to help with the coding. Since then, Game Jam has grown in popularity and in reputation. And now we have a pretty broad participation across the entire campus. We have computer science majors, physics majors, art majors from traditional and multimedia art. We have some English literature and liberal arts majors in the Game Jam. And so we've gone from about 30 participants to 60 invitations for this last Game Jam. My name is Kylie. Um, I'm a multimedia major. I originally joined Game Jam, my first one, because I'm a big gamer. I've always um, played video games, and when I heard that there was an event going on on campus that I could be a part of making games, I definitely wanted to jump on board. I actually heard about it from my professor. Um, I had Ian Pollock for uh, web design at the time, and he was all, you know, super excited about it, and he was his little a little billboard for it. So I heard about it from him and you know I got really excited and wanted to be a part of it. So the way we have it formatted here, um, almost anyone can come uh, because we use a lot of you know pre pre uh, constructed software like construct and things like that. And those allow people to literally just drag and drop things and then it, it's very intuitive, it's very simple. Uh, they call it very high level programming. It's you know it's not that hard to get into. A lot of people get confused about, about how East Bay Game Jam works. Uh, so for the most part, uh, Game Jam's outside of East Bay, um, outside of this university, is really uh, with technology. But with East Bay Game Jam, we try to uh, promote people to come up with concepts like a card game or a board game, or if it is a video game, it's that. Just kind of, you know, because we, we understand that there's more than, than one way to create a game. We've been incredibly fortunate with some outstanding keynote speakers that have come to this game jam. Games that have not done that, not in a long time, but there have been some where you cannot skip the, the piece of the text. And damn, that's annoying. So just throwing it out there. We had but, uh, Therese Duringer uh, in, our, in our game jams and most recently Aaron Hoffman. A lot of the most interesting work in games today continues to be people who do it on the side because they love it and not necessarily because they've been doing it for a job. All of them were incredibly generous and it's exciting to realize that the independent gaming community is very much about sharing knowledge, sharing resources and working together. It's advertising that anybody can do this where Way back in the day, we were we were kind of excommunicated by so many folks because it was like, ah, oh, you, all you do is play games all day. Our, our non-gamer friends wouldn't understand, but now they're playing right there along with us. There's a great, great nerd focus on you know what these students are trying to do. I was very relieved to see you know, how diverse the crowd was. That was wonderful to see that, and and you know. That's what we need more than ever. We want those people who are nervous because, you know, I was that nervous person where it was like, well, you know, I had to take that first step and I'm here to give you guys the confidence to believe in yourselves, you know, and you're going to meet others who are going to start helping you out and giving you some guidance. Friday. Uh, Friday starts with a registration. And we hand out markers and then everybody has a chance to be able to create an idea 
uh, draw diagrams, write down words, uh, whatever you need to do to explain what your idea is for a game. I usually come up with the ideas the day of. You know, you kind of just go in and they throw some different things at you and, and ideas just kind of sprout or you hear how, you know, someone else's idea and you're like, oh, that would be cool, but we should add this to it too. So I'm kind of big on just waiting for the day of, but we'll see, yeah, we'll see. I might think of something between now and then. Once they've come up with an idea, everybody uh, that has registered for Game Jam is invited to pitch. Throwing things into a pot and seeing what happens. The lemonade tycoon thing, but you're selling heroin in the end. Once you're maintaining the stamina and dealing with creeps and weirdos. After that, they go through and we post up all the ideas on a board and for if you're looking for a programmer, a designer, uh, maybe an even like an, an English major or a writer, um, so that somebody that can help with like the story making process of it. Working on the actual like game pieces and how and the, the cards and the events and the alter egos and the alerts and stuff. Oh, the fact we only have one coder, like he's actually, yeah, working really hard during the past like few hours just to get the game working. We have the musicians. That's actually the first like time she actually try making music. So, yeah, those are some of the difficulties that we have. The interactions kind of play out like an RPG battle system and we actually kind of like sanded down the rules a bit. It's a little more like a board or a card game now, very, very low numbers. It could be made in paper, but we're deciding to go ahead and make it a game anyways. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot more to do now because I don't uh, program or do art. I just made the design, so I just made some flow charts as to how the battles will work. If this happens, then we go to this next segment. If this happens, then we go to this next segment. So right now, I'm just kind of hovering around everybody and answering questions and trying not to, you know, be dominant and trying to make sure everyone's getting their ideas Sunday morning, teams get an hour to prepare presentations and to, and to stage their game for the public presentation. And then at 4 p.m. we start presentations. So I guess we can try and get the game going here. <laughs> Okay, so throughout the game, there's, there's these events that happen that we put in. I wanted to explore this issue through a very familiar context, something that people are familiar with, so we use an RPG. When's approaching, what do you guys want to do? Take it easy. Take it easy, <laughs> all right. Oh, and that's what they want to turn back, but the boss wants you that we had to play too many. We have Smarty Pants, uh, Black Lightning, and La Rosa. Ooh, uh, well I didn't run, so I guess I'll go to zero in agility. When you start something, finish it. Because it's, you know, you can start something up very easily, but finish it. Please, what, no matter how small the scale of your idea of your game is, it's your baby. Don't stop doing it, no matter how small it is. Um, and it only takes one person to believe in what you're doing. There's great people. It's a lot of fun. There's great food. Um, if, if anything, everybody eats. So if anything, come and eat. <laughs> Don't limit yourself to what you can do. Uh, just go and then have an open mind and be ready to just make a game. You know, if you can't, if you come up with an idea and you don't know how to make it, somebody there will help you. The game jam, game jam, game jam, game jam, game jam. Game jam. Game jam. Game jam. Game jam. Game jam. Internet. Spring 2015. Spring break. <laughs>